cities. I know your name, but not why you're here. Renowned master and mentor, it's your auditori, the la la la. It is a good life we lead, brother. They never change. Your father was an assassin. Are hereby sentenced to death. Father! I'll kill you for what you've done! Impressive. All that remains is the deed. This life, it chose me. You flew, Ezio! You flew! You are the leader now. Unite the assassins. Insieme per la Victoria! Victoria! And take back Roma. If I want, I can kill the assassin! I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, Machiavelli, make it short. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. Fight with me. And show him what it means to cross the assassin. Requiescat in pace. Um, so I'm just going to run through, watch the trailer again and kind of break it down, I guess, in terms of differences, because obviously it's three games we've played before. It's Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood Revelations in a collection. Now, uh, I, I, I'm so shocked that this has been announced two months before it's coming out, right? Uh, but... When you think to yourself, a game's coming out in two months, and they're going to announce it, I say it's obviously not a big jump in look. And for the most part, it's not. It's not like, a, you know, everyone's saying, remaster, it's going to be really different... It's not really at all. Assassin's Creed 2 does. Assassin's Creed 2 is very notably different. Uh, the color palette's a lot better. The lighting's a lot better. Textures are a lot better, especially on the characters' facial features and things like that. The AC2, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, this looks like um, you've really touched it up and made it look awesome. Brotherhood, I literally couldn't tell a thing Revelations, I could see some, I guess, differences. I don't know. I, mean, I want to watch it again, just so I can get a bit of an idea. So I'm not, not really sure. I mean, a couple of times Brotherhood looks maybe like the facial characters have been touched up, but it's AC2 really looks different. So, like, it has the rooftop scene. Oh, like, some great stuff going on in this trailer. But, yeah, AC2 looks really, uh, just texture touched up on, on, uh, the NPCs and all its characters. Just in general. Because it was very, uh, like, almost, like, dim. Like, Venice is very dim lit. The sky is always, like, clouded. Whereas it looks like it's a lot sunnier and brighter and a lot more of a brighter feeling. Where I'm looking at Brotherhood going, nah, it looks like I'm playing it on PC, I guess. Not like a massive difference. And then obviously you've got Revelations on there, which is, uh... Yeah, I mean, it does look like it's been... You know, Brotherhood and Revelations look like they've been, you know, a little dusted off, I guess. But... Yeah, and then the DLCs are on there, and... Yeah, but not... Yeah, I don't know, this feels like, uh... AC2 looks remastered. I would say, if someone's like, what's Assassin's Creed 2 in this collection? I'd say, that's the Assassin's Creed 2 remaster. Uh, huge one? No. Remaster? Yeah, definitely. Brother Revelations? No. Definitely, uh... Not. Definitely not. Uh... I mean... It's the Ezio collection. It's all the Ezio games on next gen. Will I get it? You know? I mean... 
Yeah, because of the AC2 game. Because, I mean, like, I've said this time and time again, I've got the games about another hand length away from me that I can grab and play right now. And in terms of Brother and Revelations, I'm not, like, looking at that like, I need to get it on next gen. So Assassin's Creed 2, I see that, and I'm like, okay, that looks really different. You know, that's very noticeably different. I've played that game through 15 times now. I, you know, know what it looks like back to front. I know what all those games look like back to front. And do they all look different? Yeah, sure. Just Revelation about a tiny bit. 2 looks great. Uh, and that's really cool. And I want to play Assassin's Creed 2 when it looks like that. Uh, is it going to be a new experience? I doubt it. Purely from the standpoint of... I've played them so many times. Can I feel the nostalgia again? Yeah, no. I don't I don't I I don't see it, but I hope maybe playing two again and it looking different it could bring back something, but look, I just feel like it's gonna be uh I feel like it's gonna be I don't know, just the port of the games I've played before. Nothing really special of note. Which is a shame because it's my favourite character in video game history and they've ported all those games over to the newest generation. I guess it's just because the other games are still there and haven't stopped existing or anything. I'm just checking out the collector's edition. James's video about the collector's edition. I'm just going to follow your link, James, because... It's a small on screen. I want to actually see it. So, what do we get in the Ezio Collection Collector's Edition? That might make me want to get it. So, we've got the Ezio's... The Ezio Collection Exclusive Collector's Box. Chest of Ezio in his Black Master Assassin outfit. So, that's like a little figurine thing. I don't... I don't care about any of those. I'm a grown-ass man. I don't want a fucking statue or uh, action figure. Uh, lithographs. No, the best of Ezio Collection soundtrack featuring 40 tracks on two discs. Again, I've got all the soundtracks. Um, look... How do they... I want to know how they describe the Ezio Collection, right? So... Collector's Edition, $119 Australian. Which is pretty normal for a Collector's Edition. Like a big, big one. Big bundle, which it looks like it's, you know, the big main Collector's Edition. Uh, obviously coming out in November. So... Okay, let's check this out. So let's... Uh, uh, have a listen to what they say these new features are. So, obviously the features live Ezio's complete life story. He plays Ezio, the most celebrated and iconic assassin in the Assassin's Creed franchise, obviously. And, of course, you want to make this collection in that sense, uh, marketing-wise. It's Ezio. Uh, enhance from, for the new generation. Experience these three classics with greater hardware capabilities and processing power, bringing the stories and immersion to life with enhanced graphics and post-processing. Okay, I mean, maybe when I play Brotherhood Revelations, I'll feel like I'm playing it on a more powerful device. You know, a frame rate increase, just a smoothness to it, and maybe some textures are just a lot better. Who knows? I don't know. I'll have to play it. Uh, what else? Learn from... Learn from... Learn more about Ezio's life with the complete Assassin's Creed lineage and Assassin's Creed Ember's short films. So, lineage set before Assassin's Creed 2 and then Ember's set after Revelation. So, if you want a chronological order it, if you don't know, you want to watch the Assassin's Creed lineage movie before you start. Then you play Assassin's Creed 2 and its DLCs. Play Brotherhood and its DLCs. Play Revelations and then you can watch Assassin's Creed Ember's. <laughs> Um, and, oh, does not include multiplayer content. What a shock. No, we, I think it was pretty obvious that there was no multiplayer content going into this. That would have been cool, but, you know, I didn't at all think they were porting that over. Now, I want to see some screenshots here of, of uh, the game. So, 
I can see straight away Assassin's Creed 2, it looks different. Like, it looks well done, well put together. Brotherhood. Um, you know, like, it looks maybe better? I don't know. I can't really tell. Like, yeah, I guess a little. I, yeah, sure. Revelations. I think... I do think Revelations has been touched up. Because I always almost thought, in a way, Brotherhood looked better than Revelations. Uh, Texture-wise, around the landscape, Revelations looked better. But I always felt like, character-wise, uh, Revelations looked a bit weaker. Overall, I don't really know, you know. Uh... I, I, this is what I expected, you know, at the end of the day, this Ezio collection, two months out, is what I expected it to be. I'm actually surprised at how good Assassin's Creed 2 looks. I, I guess that's the one they spent the most time on, because it looked the worst, by far, looked the worst compared to the other two. Um, so I can see that, it's almost like they updated Assassin's Creed 2 to look like Brotherhood and Revelations, in that sense. And then they just kind of touch up the other two, and uh, we're getting PC quality on to, uh, next gen. You know, uh, it's what I expected. I'll get it. Uh, am I hyped? Maybe I will later, but I don't know. At this point, it's just get the three games I love and I've played before and I have just over there and I can play it right now if I want to. I don't need to wait till November 17th to play them. But, uh, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'm not, not excited. I'm not hyped either. I'm not, upset about this. This is, just, this is what it is. It's, uh, nothing wrong with it. I hope that the people that have never played the Ezio trilogy, that are new fans to the franchise, and that maybe joined at Assassin's Creed 3 or Syndicate, Unity, etc. I hope this is awesome for you, and you guys can get this, play this collection, experience Ezio. Uh, that's really exciting, and that's what this is for, ultimately. And I hope th they accomplish, Ubisoft accomplish what they want with this collection, which is for these uh, old, um, or sorry, new players to come in and experience Ezio and have their own experience with him, uh, good or bad, uh, and get hyped, get ready for the future, I guess. You have a bit of a break, but here's something to tide you over till next year. And yeah, so I get it. I don't have an issue with this SEO collection whatsoever. I think it's a great idea. I think if you're going to remaster or at least repackage uh, any of the games from the franchise, it had to be the SEO trilogy. It, there's no other option here. You've got the best character in the franchise by far. I don't care if your favorite's fucking Shea Cormac or Connor Kenway. They're not the most popular characters in the franchise. Not even close. Not even fucking close. It's Ezio. So, it had to be the Ezio trilogy. Uh, and they've done what they needed to do with it. To a certain level. I would like to have seen Brother and Revelations be way more touched up. Look way better. Of course. I'd like the best product possible. But again, we're two months out from release. This is what we get. An AC2 that looks really great. And Brother and Revelations that are PC quality, I guess. It's going to be cool. I'll play it. I look forward to playing Assassin's Creed 2. I mean, that, to me, that's a whole achievement list. I get to get all the achievements again in the Etsy trilogy, and I will be doing that 100%. Just please change up the achievements. I wouldn't mind some new shit to do. Some new challenges. Oh, fucking feathers again. Fucking kill me now. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it from me rambling on and on and on. Um... Let me know what you think of the Ezio collection. Have you played it before, these Ezio games? Or is this going to be your first time doing it? Let me know if it is your first time going to play these games. But also, uh, let me know what you think of the collection overall. Like, obviously, 2 looks really good. Uh, do you think Revelation to Brotherhood look a lot better? Or can you notice anything more than I do? Uh, and, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, it's a bit early, so I'm not quite as fucking enthusiastic and my hair's a mess and I'm sleep in my eyes um so anyway guys thanks anyway <laughs> and I will see you later